Welcome back to the Fortnightly Report. Uh, it's a new season, we're kicking off. We've had a bit of a break, over a year break. Lots changed in a year. Who better to kick off the new season when the hottest rappers out at the moment, chilling at Wombat? Thanks, Thanks for good. joining us, boys. My pleasure. What's going pleasure. on? Not a lot, bro. I'm a little bit fucking, I'm a bit ripped, and we're just, uh, we're Get here it. in the hotel getting ready. I've been excited to do this for a bit, bro. I used to watch this shit. Yeah. When yeah, I was a kid, bro, yeah. seeing all the other cunts do it. So. Yeah, it came to a point where we, we did a lot of artists, and then they'll. You know, we're running um, short of artists to do, and now all of a sudden there's this new wave that's just come through in the last year. That, you know, what are you guys doing? It's crazy at the moment, so uh, nah, happy to have you here. Has there been a Forte Fortnightly Report, but has not, it? Not yet. There has to be one. Yeah. I'd love to host it. Mate, whenever you're Let's ready. Let's make it happen. Let's, Let's make it happen. 420 is going to do a Fortnightly Report on Fort. Fucking hell. So, um, we've got a question from Seth McGrillvay. His question for both of you is who can get the best bud? What's the bud like in Tassie? Yeah, good man. Fucking good shit in Tassie. Yeah. Like, most of the time, for yeah. sure, bro. We've had some good shit down there. Yeah, yeah fuck, I reckon. What do you reckon, Chill? You reckon you well, get the best bud? I'm gonna, I think one, but, bro, you can vouch for me, bro. Like, yeah, you get some good shit. The packs, yeah, the packs are good, man. Yeah, fucking Big nice. up to my plug, fucking, I get some good strains, fucking, and it's a bit pricey, but yeah, it's good. Hey, you gotta pay for Worth, good yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pay for it. Designer bud. Curious, Curious Swift would like to know have your parents listened to your music? If so, how do they feel about it? Um. They don't listen to it as in like, fuck, mum's not at home ripping the billy, putting on fucking one breath, one tape or anything, but like, nah, she's heard it and yeah, she just supports the fact that I'm happy and I'm providing and yeah. everything's going good. Well, right? Once parents see results, then they understand it a bit more than if you just... Yeah, that's right. If I was fucking at home, fucking rapping in my room, yeah, then, yeah, exactly yeah. right. So it's a lot different. Uh, ben Fairhall said, uh, Chill and Wombat, on a serious note, can we organise a 420 smoking festival? We would be fresh to play a game of cricket with the family puffing the clouds having a laugh. <laughs> what, what do you reckon of that idea? What do you reckon, Wombat? I'm packing up. Help me yeah, out. Yeah, So um, yeah. we're on, or Wombat's called it. We're on. Off yeah, the on. Wish You Were Well film clip part two. So you pretty much did that at the. Yeah, that was fucking. That nah, that was dope, bro. Like um, so four came down. Wombat was there for that as well, and big up to everyone who supported let's, that. Let's talk about that. That was crazy. You want to explain to the people what happened in that film clip and the way Fuck. it went, how it did? Bro, it wasn't well, like. It was. It went the way it was meant to go, but there was like a bit of a hiccup where I cut my foot because we were doing a turn up scene and Husky dropped the wine bottle and it fell onto my foot. I ended up getting like six stitches in my foot, but at the time we just wrapped it up and I couldn't walk on it, so we had to improvise. You were there, but we yeah. had to improvise and we were fucked up. We were drinking like that wasn't a, just a clip. Like we were yeah. actually drinking cases yeah, from like nine in the morning. Got and you got everyone up. fucked at karaoke the night fucking oh, before. <laughs> Don't, yeah. bro. We were <laughs> fucked. And salty was there. So it was loose, man. But nah, it, it was raw and authentic. So I'm glad it's done. Good. I'll tell, it's I'll, done. I got to tell a quick story behind the scenes because this is the shit the fans don't see. Go, hit, go, but hit, like hit that day where we stayed at the hotel the night before, and I wake up, everyone's gone, everyone's gone to the clip. Yeah. And next thing, Husky comes in. He wakes me up. He's like, bro, I just come back to get my bag. And so I'm like, alright, quickly get up. And I walk out the door, and at the door there's five coppers. Oh, yeah, I'm like, yeah, I'm like yeah. what the fuck? I'm like, they're going, you think guys in your room? But little did I know until I got to the clip, Husky had done the Spider-Man up the fucking thing, because he couldn't get in to get his bag. Yeah, and he jumped up break to it his, in. Yeah. And next thing, the coppers are running through the halls, knocking on all the doors, and this, I had no idea until I got Big there. Big up to Husky, he's fucking, yeah. he's what a crazy day. To it, bro. But, but I love these things, because like, I love how they're just fucking, we're just literally having a search, and we're just reading like, Questions from the people. From the fans that want to Yeah, it's sick, you know right? It's just authentic. So. It's mad. We've got to fort. So, um, Campbell Devitt said, any plans to have a battle again, Chill? You pumped them boys in that two on two ages back. <laughs> Apologies, sorry about that. But, um, nah, probably not. Just being straight up, no. A lot, of, a lot of rappers start off battling just as a way in. Ah, uh, I'm you... into doing the music, yeah. yeah. Like, I, I don't want to get into that. What about a Grime Clash, eh? Really? Grime Clash? Yeah, I'd probably do a grime clash. I definitely would do a grime clash. I can spit, yeah, because yeah, I spit, I'd just spit. But as we're standing there and dissing somebody with a pre written luck with no beat, nah. Yeah, it's a bit different. Nah. Uh, so, the next question is from Jack White. Jack, yeah, Jake White. How often does Wombat spill the bomb? Fucking too often. Yeah, yeah all the fucking time, bro. So, why the carpet's dirty? Yeah. Well, I spilled it last night. So. You did, no. didn't you? You kicked it and it was yeah, outside. The mix was gone it, at the yeah. time, so it was alright. So, but... so it's a common occurrence of you <laughs> yeah, fucking kicking no. or spilling the bomb. Yeah, bro. Yeah, There's always one in some in everyone's group. <laughs> uh, Wombat, Chillin' oh, okay. and Husky on a track will be so fucking dope. Yeah, I don't know why we haven't even done that yet, bro. That would be fucking mad. Sure. What was that? Wombat, uh, Chillin' it and Husky on a track. Yeah, definitely. I think it will happen. It will hopefully happen this year. We just got to get it. We got to get into the booth at the same time. So you got a tour coming up. There's someone asking. Jackson Edson, Edwards wants to know when are you coming back to Adelaide. 
um, for my tour, which is Adelaide potentially maybe sold out right now, so I'm not too sure. But if it's not, you can find that on chillinit.net. I've got my own website, which is chillinit.net. All my merch and my tickets are there. And yeah, anything you want to find out or keep up to date with, you can uh, go there. And you've and just kicked off your own I'm YouTube really channel doing uh, vlogs and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. So I've got my own channel now. I've broken off to do my own channel now. Fuck, I'm still going to work with Body Bag a lot, but you know, I'm looking to branch out and, and maybe start doing some bigger things. So. I've got my own channel set up, it's chilling at 420, all the boys are supporting it, so if you want to go keep up to date, go subscribe on YouTube as well. Yeah. Dylan James. <laughs> <laughs> Dylan James. I'm so rich. <laughs> Where did you start it? I know, it's hectic. Go. Dylan keep James going. wants to know how did Chillin' and Wombat meet? I want to know the story behind these bangers they've been making all the time. So how did you guys first meet? Do you want to run it? Yeah, we've, we've met online. Um, she was just... Running the first fucking get body shows. It's like fucking just getting a bunch of cunts to come and just see me. Just hit me and nerve up. It's like, yeah, you should come roll through and do a show. I was like, yeah, fucking nice. Just kicked it off from there. Yeah, and then I just yeah, stayed in his house. We just got stoned as fuck and, and yeah, it's got along ever since, man. Well, he's doing a killing, like as a duo, you know what I mean? S singly, you can do kill the shit, but when you're together, you've both got the energy. Yeah, I've hard, seen you on stage. I reckon it's because like, our fucking our styles are way different, bro. Yeah. And I reckon yeah. they just like clash together really well. Yeah, yeah. yeah, both our fan bases just clash together too, which is fucking yeah, good for uh, them. And, it, and you're both bringing that energy as well. Yeah, hard, yeah, that's right. Fuck yeah. Uh, Dylan would I, like, also like to know where do you see the Oz rap scene in five years? Where do I see it? Both years. Oh, I don't know, man. I, I, I personally am like that fucking honed in on like what I'm trying to do and where I'm at. I haven't really fucking thought that far ahead. I'm just taking it year by year with my 420 family plan and where I want to take it. But I think it's going to be in a really good place in long story short. There's so many big artists coming out. All the boys, a lot of the ones I've worked with as well, are putting in killer work. So yeah, Just in this last see. year, so many artists that came and usually over five years or ten years things change. But like this is the new wave coming through. So like who knows what's going to be next. Yeah, you know? I reckon it'll be massive. It can only sure. be fucking crazy. Um, sure. William. I know, I saw him, bro. I'm fucking tempted as fuck. William B. Rack, B. Ark wants That'd to know good. what did Chillin' at Wombat do before they started rapping? What did I do? What did you do as an occupation? Fucking hell, I, did, I had a lot of jobs. Did you have up. an occupation? Yeah. Yeah, I had a lot of jobs. Such as? When I first dropped out of school, I went and dropped, to be honest, I went and worked at Macca's full time and then just sold bud on the side. Yeah. And that was like my first full time job. I, worked yeah. at, I used to open the McDonald's at Hurstville Station and then I got fired. Yeah. And then I came up to my New Year's Eve shift. Cause I wanted to party and they put me on New Year's Eve. Yeah, yeah. I was like, I'm gonna flip burgers at Macca's on New Year's Eve. Like, fuck that. And I went out. And I'm glad I did, cause I got fired and then I got a better job. And then, man, I just did a lot of shit. And then I did an apprenticeship for three, four years. And I just decided music after that full time. And I just, and here we are. What about you, woman? Uh, I haven't worked that much, but like, the first job I had was like, fucking sketchy little Asian cafe I worked at. They were paying us cash in hand and shit. That's gay. And then I rocked up one day for a shift and they were like, fucking, yeah, we're closing down. And she gave right. me a $50 note. She's like, yeah, take this $50 note. I was right. like, all right, fucking. Oh, that was nice of I just go home. First thing I did when I went home was just start writing bars and shit, man, because I was yeah. just in the right. So I was like, fuck this, I'm just going to fucking go for it, man. So, do you think it's hard to have a full-time job and also do rap? Uh, it just depends, though. Like, I want to say yes, <clears> but I feel like so many kids look at what we do, and I feel like there's so many kids out there who are just going to be yeah, like, fuck it. Job, yeah. I'm not going to go to work, and I'm just going to stay at home and smoke bombs and rap. You know yeah. what I mean? I think you've got to fucking learn life skills, and you've got to go up. <laughs> Before you can be a rapper, I think the best rappers are men. So if you're a young kid out there, I think yeah, you've got to get some life experience and work and work out who you are before you'll be a good artist. If I can be honest with you, cunt. Definitely. That was a good answer, bro. If I can keep that in there. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking uh, David Joseph Hoffman Cole said, "Will you review collab with Forte Yeah. Yeah. Fucking oath. Yeah. That would be crazy. Some yeah, man. different generations. So. Well, I still want to do that. Everyone says that Come Smoke With Me track. Yeah, man. Is the one. We all, we're well, all we've got to do so. part five on its way, so. Well, there we go. Let's, um, let's look into that. Uh, Jackson, so I'm sorry to all these people with ethnic names. I can't pronounce your shit. But I'll, um, can you, you know how to say that? See, Jovic must be um, Serbian. Maybe. Sorry. It could be Croatian. I don't know. Jackson C. Jovic said, What is your favorite Siggy brand? Ask them both. Oh. Optimum Crush, VP114, 100%. Yeah, probably like Winnie Blues. Yeah, Winnie Blues? Yeah. Yeah, that's that's all easy to get. Optimum yeah. Crush is Winnie Blues. Fuck. Yeah. Um, Kel Erskine said, do you rep the 2478, and if so, is it in the West? I don't know what that means. That's just a dud question. <laughs> yeah, fuck it. <laughs> wait, wait, hold on, wait. Who's got their phone? What postcode is 2478? Let me know. What does he ask us? Do we rep it? Do you rep it? And if so, is it in the West? He seems to know more about it than you guys. <laughs> Maybe you could tell us, Kel. Remind me later. Uh, 2478 postcode. 
could be very, very far west. It's got it's somewhere in New South Wales. Somewhere in America. Do we rep Ballina? <laughs> isn't that in the country? That's in um, uh, Queensland, isn't it? Ballina. Well, I think the answer is no, Kel. So. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> yeah. In conclusion, I'm not sure where that is. Itang Wang said, will you fight me? What's his name, sorry? <laughs> Itang Wang. That's fucking He mad. wants to know where you fight him to raise money for next year. Will I fight Itang Wang? In an exhibition match to raise money for next year's sesh. It's on the card. <laughs> I don't know, we'd have to... We'd have to if it was for charity. What do you weigh, Itang? Something. What's your Wang weigh? <laughs> oh, I don't want to know that. Don't. Riley don't Brown that. said, when will there be a chill in it and wombat smoke out? When will there be a chillin' and wombat smoke out? Every day. Yeah, fucking there has been, they just haven't been recorded. Jackson... And I'll always win. Fuck off. <laughs> I think we'll find out tonight. Talk shit. Talk shit, We'll eh? find out tonight, we'll count how many cones they both had and we'll see. I've done the mix, I'm ready to chop again. Oh, uh, whenever you're ready. Do you want to chop? Oh, Riley Brown said... Oh no, sorry, sorry, you already said that. Jackson McIver said, Who's the most underrated rapper in the Oz scene that is coming up but doesn't get much notice? And then, what they should. Who is the most underrated and doesn't get as much notice as they should? Oh. I don't know about underrated and like up and coming, but I think that someone who doesn't get as noticed as they should is like fracture and stuff like that. Just yeah. because I think that everyone who does stuff, like they're the ones who kind of brought it here and kind of made it acceptable for us to kind yeah. of give it Well, that you can see flavor. what they've done. So yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And now. I think there's just a lot of young kids who yeah. just know, only know of me or only know of Wombat and some of the newer people that are to the scene and stuff. Yeah. And I think that those guys, yeah, like people should look back onto some of the, where it all started the five, ten years ago if you're a fan. The so. scene's definitely yeah. growing. There's a bigger audience than there's ever been. And so uh, they're all factors as well. Jackson would like to also know, what's the favourite strain you've ever smoked? My favourite, wedding yeah. cake. Wedding cake? Yeah, yeah, yeah. that was fucking good shit. Everyone's, yeah, yeah, you had that, eh? That fucking it was 50 bucks a gram, but cop that. That put us to right. fucking cop sleep, that. bro. Straight in the head, like right. fucking bang. Just yeah, rough on the wall and rough on the shit. It'd want to be good. It was. <laughs> uh, Rory, uh, Rory Johnson's Sudi said, when are you both doing a show in Brisbane? So you got the tour coming We've up. We got the tour coming is up, Brisbane yeah. Is Brisbane sold out, yeah? Yeah, uh, Brisbane is sold out, actually. It's at the zoo. And we sold out the zoo, and we've got the underage show as well. That's mine. So, um, you dropped your album nice. in September or November? First of November. First of November, and uh, how'd that go? Oh, it was good, man. Fucking number one on iTunes. Yeah, yeah. All the platforms. It started 11 million streams across all the platforms, 8 million on Spotify, and yeah, nah, it was just well received across the board. But, like, me as an artist, like, I love it, but as an artist, you're always looking to grow. So, I've already yeah. listened to it and picked out things that I like or don't like. And yeah, and just I'm looking forward to working on something at the back end of this year as well and kind of living out this year, going on tour, having some more growth as a person and putting well, that into some music. What was the, the writing process like for those songs? Like, Oh, man, my brain is just cooked with bars, eh? Like, there's mm. so much rhymes in there. A lot of the time, it just all swirls around and comes together, but. Specifically with that, I think it was just I wanted to do something that was diverse. I didn't want to just have one specific sound. Yeah. And I didn't want to also not try too hard either to try and do too much. I just wanted to be myself and show my diversity. Yeah. And I think I did that. So like, yeah. I capture it when I listen to it. You so didn't. You didn't put a time limit on it. You were just doing songs, and next thing you're like, alright, got that. Yeah, it was kind of just. It was very free flowing and very choppy and changey. It was stressful at times too, but it it came together. There's a lot behind it. I won't even get into it. There's a lot behind making music. But the, it was a good time. The album's crazy. It's a real well-rounded project oh, with a lot you, of man. different songs. So. No, oh, well done. Bro. Thanks, bro. I appreciate it. Um, Jake Pygram said, would there be an absolute chance, any absolute chance of me getting a shout-out, either or both, if you are chop of absolute fire crons in Sydney? I don't know. I think Jake's had a few cones. Cause he <laughs> shout-out to Jake Pygram. I think he asked for a shout-out. Yeah, a pretty, I, I gather that. <laughs> or a chop or something. Uh, Jake Vigar said, what's the place, favourite places you have both perform? Mine? It, yeah. Yeah, I don't know why I say mine. Your oh. place? Yeah. What about, <laughs> what? What about Brisbane? Yeah, uh, on, the get, on the Get Body Tour? Nah. Yeah. My, yeah. The best show I played was my yeah. first show on the, the tour I did with Tahlequah. So what happened in Brisbane? Like with the get the get body shows have been crazy. I've been lucky enough to join you and do a couple of uh, sets with you. And like the first one we did was the Brisbane one that got shut down and made the news. Yeah. yeah. So like, what's the story of that? Oh. Was it your fault? I don't. The cops were involved in that. I've had to do uh, no comment. No nothing. Problem. I've got nothing to say about what happened. It wasn't us. It wasn't us. Yeah, it's not like it's saying. Wild, it's like it was nothing to do with us. Period. Like. I just remember period. coming out. Period. Everyone had left, and I'm on the phone. I'm like, where's everyone gone? 
and then I go outside and both ends of the street are blocked to the police and people are fucking yeah. all sorts of shit. At the end of the day, if they shut down the show an hour and a half early for something that happens outside of the venue, then that, like, you know what I mean? It, we, we don't promote that shit, it's all, we're 420 fam, it's all about good vibes and we just want to do our music but sometimes they put a lot of pressure on us because we're independent artists. Some of these That's towns are just crazy, like Brisbane's always crazy, like anywhere it's hot there's always like, cunts are so active and they, you can't yeah. help but be fights sometimes but I know you guys don't incite it, that's for sure. Uh, Julian Woods would like to ask, who are the top 5 rappers under 25 and I just can't put your own name in there. Do you have a top 5? I don't know who's under 25 man. Like, Pretty much just all your peers. Can I just it? say top five without yeah. the twenty-five? Yeah, sure. Um, fuck me, dead. Husky, Wombat. Like top five, what rapping right now or top, in all time in the Top five rappers in Oz. Top five rappers in twenty-five in Oz. That are existing now. Fuck me. That's a hard, very hard one. Right. Alex Jones. Yeah. So Husky, Wombat, Alex Jones. Fuck man, Shadow. One more. Oh my god. I don't know, bro. Everyone else is fifth. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 like, it's hard. There's so many different. The thing is, right, is that top five question, there's so many different variations. Oh, Are we talking like top five? from who's doing rapping right now. Are we talking top five of all time? Are we talking Maybe top five from a bar perspective? Per personal like, preference, that's the thing. It's so hard to do a top five on this side. Yeah, like, when you, you love hip hop this much, you can't have a top five. It's not like everyone's doing the same yeah. shit, you know what I mean? It's like, like, it, it comes down to what you like, really. What yeah. about you, Wombat? Um, I can't really pick top five, but I'll definitely like shout out to like, fucking Alex Jones, man. Like, obviously, Chill, fucking Nerves, like, yeah, the young killers, man. Yeah, shout out to the fucking posse shop too, bro. Fucking them bad, bro. Yeah. Like yeah, Mr. Marshall and Tony, the fucking. That's pretty much what they're doing at the moment, well. man. They're good fucking. The album's produced by Juvia, some crazy shit. Yeah, oh my shit. god, bro. Juvia's yeah, fucking dope producer, man. Curve's killing that. Yeah, 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 see, Kirby does big number, bro. You know what song I'm listening to right now? Pistol Pete and Enzo. Oh, we'll that one do that. No, 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 that one, no, the new one. Yeah. It's like, everybody think they're up now. Yeah. Sell a couple of dingers, everybody want to trap now. <laughs> Come on, let's go check the background. Right, Pistol Pete yeah, and Enzo nah, are cool, bro. They're repping for the Polynesian. Bro, they're, good, they're, they're good, though, they're good. They're really like, good. There's no other reason. Rap level, they're fucking good. Good punchlines, charisma. I fuck with it. So, Gerald uh, Jody Thornton would like to know, if you could tour Australia with anyone, who would it be and why? I can answer that for you. Wombat. Because he's a lyrical beast. Yeah, my fucking G. Is that the answer? I thought Wombat was going to answer. I didn't know. <laughs> yeah. Wombat. That's why he's coming. That's why he's tour. touring with you. Yeah. And where you can get the tickets from? From chillin.net, if there's any left. Uh, Aaron Choc Chip Blackness <laughs> said, What's each of your perspectives on how the impact on how you impact the Australian hip hop culture. What do you think you've done to impact Australian hip hop culture? Oh, I feel like, man, some of those questions, like, uh, like we're still young in the scene. Like, I feel like there's so many other, like, what have I done to impact it? Fuck all, really. No, I think you've had an impact, but you'll see it more as time goes on. Yeah, like, at the end of the day, I'm still humble. Like, I've, I've put an album out, and I've had a bunch of views on YouTube and some followers, which is great, and I love it. I love the family, but, like, uh, I'm... I'm looking to do more than that, you know what I mean? I, I don't think I've done much of an impact yet. Well, I, th I think you've done more than you realise. I think like by doing the 420 fam and bringing people together <laughs> where there's more unity than just going against other rappers or trying to attack everyone. Like you bring oh, well, I hope so. That, that, that's, that's what it's about. Yeah. But I, I think that there's more change to come before I can Definitely. sit there. So I think there's a bigger impact to be made than what I've done. There's still yeah. a lot more growth. I ain't in my final form for it, man. I know, you just started, bro. Right? I'm like super so level quarter, one right now. Like so many levels. Hard. Ah, what about you, Wombat? What yeah, do you think your impact is? No, same go. Same go. Good answer, brother. So, um, Liam Hamburglar McDonald. These names are fucking poppy. Hey, I don't know if that's on your fucking Where's birth shoes? certificate, Liam, but Where's he, the said, shoes? he said he said the scene needs a hectic beef to really kick shit off. <laughs> Does it? Who are the Aussie Wiley and Dizzy and why? Who are the Aussie Wiley and Dizzy? That, I don't know. I don't think the scene needs a hectic beef. No, it doesn't help. Really the thing is help. with all this beef as well, like people, a lot of these artists 
haven't done it many, haven't met each other. It's all on the internet. It's all on Instagram. And once they kick it off, they don't see each other the rest of their lives. Yeah, and it's not. We're all musicians. I'd rather all get a piece of pie and everybody do their thing. If everyone's music can speak for themselves, there shouldn't be any need for being. Can't say happy to have a come up or whatever. this from afar. But if you put every rapper in Sydney in this fucking room right now, it probably won't even be a problem, to be honest. I'll do some more. <laughs> okay, that's one of the questions we're going to leave out. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> Le- we're leaving that whole section out. <laughs> Cut. Le- uh, Lachlan Nil said, how did you come up with your name, Wombat? Um, I just really wanted to pick something Australian. That's pretty much it. <laughs> and yeah. also, I'm fucking always in my burrow, just smoking cones and yeah. shit. So in the burrow. Yeah. Just coming out when you need to. And he doesn't yeah. fuck, he burrows. <laughs> <laughs> is, it, is, is that a good? <laughs> <laughs> I was looking at. I thought that was good. Cut. <laughs> Cut again. But. Cheyenne, uh, back. I don't know, like these. Look, can you, can you pronounce that? Cheyenne Bakshi. I'm just. It's hard, I find it hard to believe that these some of these are your real names. It's probably not. <laughs> he wants to know who smokes the biggest cone. Yeah, you smoke bigger for sure. He's straight onto it. Yeah, but I smoke more. Yeah, he smokes more, I smoke bigger. Yeah. But, I smoke fucking way more tobacco. Yeah, he has a like, lot more spin. Yeah. I have a quarter spin. I smoke backy cones when I don't have mix and yeah. shit. I'm a fucking and then I have like a whole one. ciggy to a stick, I have a quarter. That's another <laughs> question, they want to know, um, do you spin or not? Yeah, I do. I do a, bit of, shame, I do a bit of shame worn in my stick. <laughs> Throw a few flippers in it. Um, Xavier Kama Duran said, can I get a shout out? And what city in Australia has the best buds in your opinion? What city does have the best buds? I like Adelaide's up there, definitely. Yeah, but um, Adelaide's Perth, the most consistent. Perth surprised me. I've had some really good stuff in Tasmania. Yeah, I yeah. think the quality overall is starting to come up. Where's the shittest bud? Probably Queensland. Yeah, bro. Uh, <laughs> and I think Queenslanders will agree on that. I fucking. We had a shit time in Queensland, bro. Yeah, I've never had good bud in Queensland. I can never fucking get any in Queensland. Leo Jeremy wants to know how old were you when you had your first cone? Like 14, I think. How many? 15. Something like that. It's 12, but it's not a competition, guys. So. <laughs> Fucking. <laughs> Josh. It's not good. I was smoking heroin at 13, but cut that out. Oh. Josh. <laughs> Alright, done. That question is done. <laughs> Josh, uh, Josh Grit- Griggs T said, How has rap impacted both Chillin' It and Wombat's life and where they see themselves in 10 years? Like, how, like, shit, shit must have changed from a year ago, that's for sure. For both of you. Yeah, fucking no. Yeah, and what's some of the wing, some of the things that have changed for you? Is like, what what doors have opened up? What experiences have you had that you didn't have a year ago? Get it, bro. <laughs> okay. <laughs> sorry, I was heaps rip. Can you ask me that again? All right. Oh, uh, sorry. How did how has rap impacted your life? And where you, uh, first of all, how has rap impacted your life? A lot. Mm. It fucking it's made my life what it is today. And my life's a lot different to what it was from where I was when I was seventeen. And uh, where do you see yourself in 10 years? <sighs> Don't know. No. Wherever the road takes me, man. I'm looking at it. What about you? How's uh, rap impacted your life? Yeah, it's changed it heaps, man. Like, I don't know. I never thought I'd be fucking <clears throat> travelling around the country, fucking meeting and having friends mm. in all different states and shit, man. Like, coming from Tasmania especially, so it's yeah. pretty surreal, bro. Because like, uh, mm. not many people get out yeah. of Tasmania. Yeah, fuck like. no, nah, man. A lot of people get stuck there, mm. bro. Like, yeah. That's definitely the craziest thing about rap is we've been able to travel and see shit we wouldn't normally see. Like, we've got to do a show and we, in all these different towns, yeah. you know. Yeah. 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 I would be people. ripped. I just wasn't answering that to my fullest extent. You're right, bro. I'd never even travelled like, yeah. around Australia before it's rap. It's the same for now, me. Like, I've seen everywhere yeah. and paid to do it. It's a fucking... You can hang out with your boys and you just don't do nothing you're for fucking. But when you got an excuse to go, like, and then all of a sudden you're travelling with your mates and you're having fun and you see these places you've never seen before. Yeah, I've found that's the fucking one of the best yeah. things. Um, Bunny Fugazi wants to know, did you sell drugs or punch on or do any hard shit before you started <laughs> rapping or is it all talk? <laughs> I don't know, first of all... And, and he also said, no comment is the reply of a drug dealer. Well, I've never fucking sold drugs, so... Just putting it out there. Obviously not a fucking drug dealer. That's what a drug dealer would say, though. All I would, all I would say... <laughs> Is like when he says, or any, or do any of that hard shit. I don't think selling drugs or punching on makes it makes nah. it. Any I've that never rapped about selling drugs either. You know, it's hard yeah, keeping a shit. fucking job. Yeah. Casey Whitworth. Was, <laughs> Ka- we'll skip that. Casey Whitworth said, "Will they will they ever consider doing smaller shows like Rockhampton, Gladstone area?" Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, fuck it, man. Some of the smaller shows are like it's crazy fucking vibes and like, sure, man. Need to do a regional tour or something. Hundred percent. So, uh, uh, Fee Jones said, 
uh, what slash who were your biggest influences? What got you into rap? What's, what was the first rapper Big that old, really, yeah? Big O, Big yeah. O's crazy. Big O was the one who just like captured my attention the most. 100% with his multis and his fucking... The punchlines. Unfortunately. Just, just the bar for bar for bar, rest in peace. He Big died, o, yeah. yeah. How about you? Ooh, like Eminem's one that got me like first into it hard, like Eminem and 50 Cent and like Royce, like cats like that. Yeah. But then I found like Grime and then obviously got inspired hard by like Devlin and Getz and shit. Yeah. And also Australian rap like fucking Cursor and yourself and even Chill fucking... Like I grew up listening to all you motherfuckers. Big moves Alex Jones and shit. shit. Like, yeah. yeah, man, hard, bro. No, that's the thing. Like, you can take a lot from different rappers and then, like, you know, different scenes and then make it your own thing, you know? Fuck yeah, bro. Alright, Fee Jones got another one. Would you prefer 100 <laughs> duck sized horses or 100 horse sized ducks? <laughs> oh, 100 horse sized ducks. Well, and why? Yeah. Wait, no, no, no. I'm picturing like mini horses. What? Which one's 100 that? 100 duck sized horses? Or horse sized ducks. The, the one where the horses are the, the sizes of the ducks. Yeah. That'd be mad, <laughs> yeah. that'd be worth heaps. <laughs> that'd just be a a right, imagine little you could race mini, the 100 mini. Hey, you can start your own race course. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mi for midgets. <laughs> Bro, the ducks? A midget would squash a duck. Look, it's just, it's just really confused me, to be honest. You could put a cockroach on it or something. Yeah, as the least fucking. <laughs> no, no, as, as the jockey. Oh, the jockey? Like, on the horse. Put a mouse on it. Little mouse. Again, I feel like the mouse would like. Nah, I guess that'd be big enough. Fuck you, Fee. Cameron Stewart yeah. said, Was Perth weed a huge letdown for you? Always heard you get better stuff East Coast. Nah, like, nah Perth is alright. Nah, sh shout out. Big up to shout yeah. out. Yeah, man. Um, shout out to the people in Perth that help us out when we get there. Uh, Joseph Algy said, Does Wombat reckon he'll ever collab with Husky? Yeah, for sure, man. Like, we've already worked on tracks back in the day, man. Like, that one on YouTube? Just, it's yeah. just a matter of, we're both lazy motherfuckers. It's just a matter of us both getting it done, man. Especially on my half, because he's already wrote a full verse and shit. Those before, one, so nah, like, those ones where you swap, those bars. Yeah, like, things, yeah, we yeah. remix each other's verses and That's shit, man. Like, yeah, fuck the notes, bro. Like, shout out to Husky, man, to her one, bro. David Cole said, who always has the light of it says they don't? It's you, eh? <laughs> There's always that one person, too. So you're the bong spiller and he's the lighter thief. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I used to be yeah. man. That's, that's, that's pretty. That's pretty accurate as fuck. That's a fuck. That's up. pretty on point. So Brooke uh, Mello said, "How long has Chill and Wombat been friends for? And what's the first track you've ever rapped?" I think. Couple it's only like a year, man. Is it? No, well, it's 2019 now, so like it's coming on to like. Yeah, it was fucking like. Bit, I guess. Hell late though, man. Then when did we do the get? Because the get body tour wasn't last. Year. No, it, it was, was last year. Oh, the original the one original wasn't, one, yeah, but yeah. to get body festival, the Sydney yeah, show. Cool. When was the Sydney one? The that was last first year. One? That was last year. No, 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 not the festival. The, the one, one, one in Sydney Calibre. on the corner. On the, the Capital no, Court no, Hotel. No, no, no. There was one before that. Do you remember the one yeah, on the one even before that, yeah. Oh, I wish I could remember. It was like November, man. bro, like 2017 or some shit. What was the first song you yeah, did together? Yeah, Fucking Rolling Peace and Underrated. We did them both the same day. Like, we'd already written Underrated and then... We just fucking smashed together rolling piece like in the spot in the studio. And where'd you just record it at? Oh, Body Bag Studio. Shout out to Bags, you man. Up the coast, yeah. Yeah, Body Bag Media, man. Fuck yeah. Fucking it. Fucking it. Fucking it. Fucking it. Lachlan Ho Raff wants to know will you um, be doing a song with Curve? Yeah, fucking Yeah, fucking shout out to I was Curve, talking man. to him when we went to the Ari thing. Yeah. Just gonna get his album done and then we're gonna get something done. He's, he's fucking good, right? He does big numbers too. Yeah, he's a, a representative West Sid and doing his thing, so that's great. Um, Zach Williams said, What's your favourite song? No, I mean. Uh, What's your favourite song off the album? My favourite song off yeah. the album? <laughs> Again, I don't know. Energy? Yeah. And the same for you? Um, probably whatever you need. Yeah. Yeah, the yeah. one with Husky, that's a fucking banger, bro. Yeah, it's a banger. Yeah. Ridiculous. Ridge Coffee said, Do you think a level of unity can be achieved in Oz Hip Hop? 100%, and it needs to be. It'd be great. Uh, at the end of the day, rap's competitive, so you're always going to have people going against each other. Yeah, no, we should compete on the mic. But I think 100%. There's good competition, there's bad competition. I think at the moment, what you guys are doing, like the fact that you've got this many people in the lineup, like, how many rappers are at the Get Body shows? Like eight, nine, ten. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like no one's doing that shit. You know what I mean? So um, I think there is a level of unity being achieved as yeah. far as it can go, but there's always going to be people that are upset. You know. Um, Matthew Daniel said, "Chill, can you pack a cone, pull it, and put some on top, and keep pulling it? Do the fattest cone ever packed one as a big as Fort's head?" A hundred percent. We had a smoke out me and Fort, and I think I won. Oh, uh, I don't. I wouldn't say well, I, look. I'll say I was drunk. Okay, <laughs> I drank half a bowl of Henny. He did. Look, I kept up with girl. 
No, and I was smoking out of the Forte bong, which is fucking. If you've got a Forte yeah, bong, you know. It's heavy. And plus, I was pla- smoking straight. Yeah. Look, at the moment, I'm taking a tolerance break because like, it came to the point where I'm not feeling it anymore. <laughs> so, look, I'm willing to have the proper fucking showdown when you're ready. We'll have our. I'm ready, bro. We'll weigh up the I'm both our grams and we, you know what I mean? We'll I'm get the a quarter each of Primo. But um, that might be something to do with these other rappers, so first. Um, how old were you when you both started riding bars? Jacob Charles and I'd like to know. How old was I? Yo. Um, fuck me, dude. Like, probably about 13 as, as well, like when I was starting. Around the time before I started smoking, mm. I had this one mate, mm. and he, we used to spit bars, mm. and he had this beat called the Billy Boys beat, because they used to smoke. And after he played the beat, after a while, I tried to do it, and I was all right at it, and then I just went home and just went tried to there. write, and it went from there. Because I was already listening to rap at the time, so, yeah. How about you? Um, yeah, probably like, oh, I was saying I was like 15, but not seriously at all, like just fucking around hard. Like, me and all my mates used to just freestyle hard, like mm. fucking around, man. But started probably writing seriously, as I said, like when I fucking got, when that fucking Asian shop shut down and shit. You like, I was probably time. about like 17 then, like 18, like, and I dropped my first track when I was like 19, so it's fucking, yeah. yeah. it was a banger. Uh, Ill King, Ill King Twins go. When is Wombat and Chillin' gonna drop a track of Alex Jones? Um, if you have something? Oh. Well, if all goes well and I get my fucking verse done, we should be having a fucking track drop on one of you's release next month, February. But, Crazy. Yeah, there you fucking go. Fucking know if I need to get my shit together, bro. Nice. Thanks for that part in there on that answer. Because it's just like, he'll be like, yeah, this track's coming sick, and then he'll just see one better and then go, yeah, bro, no, it's not really done. I'm going to get my shit together. <laughs> like, like. Uh, Nathan Razorback, Raymond wants to know who do you reckon's on top in the Oz rap scene? Who's on top? Gaza. Who do you think's on yeah, top? Yeah, straight the fuck yeah. Yeah, yeah I respect sure, to Gaza. Doing it for years, holding it down. Yeah, he's still he's selling out major shows. Yeah, consistently for many years. He can't argue with numbers. Um, Liam Hamburger McDonald again says, he's back. How, How'd you link up with Bagsy? Oh, I did it through old school like a Nokia. Like, we linked up to do that clip and then, yeah, we just worked from there. Yeah, how are yeah. You? well he was meant to film, he was going to come down to fucking Tasmania and film a clip for me back in like 2016, like, mm. before, he, when he was back, when he was bringing bag with photography and shit, before he even started Body Bags, so I was talking, I've been talking to him online for fucking ages and shit, but, yeah, I only met him like, a couple of years ago, but yeah, he's a fucking sick cunt, shout out to Bags. Yeah, shout out to Bags, he's doing a lot of good shit, Fuck bringing a lot of artists together and helping out a lot of yeah, people along the way. Big up to Body Bags. Yeah, man. Jacob Bamford would like to know, when was the last time both of you greened out? I've never greened out. I've had like... Beard and grassy on your ass, but I've never story. Out, yeah. Well, uh, yeah, I've chucked whiteies, that's what we call it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. In, the, in, the, in, the, in the film clip. Yeah, oh, yeah, fucking, that was probably even drink too much, bro. Uh, yeah, that was fucking. I was sinking them all day, bro. In the film, yeah. fucking yeah. skull on the cunts and shit. And we're drinking the night before, too. Oh, uh, yeah, we were we'll smashing the night before, bro. Uh, fuck it. Robbie Johnson said, do a p- bad boy part two with one bet on it. That would be sick, right? That'd be crazy, man. Fucking no. We should make that happen 100%. Joshua Vatrano said, this one's for chilling it. What artist did you listen to as a young kid before you began your rap journey? Or Big L? Oh yeah, Big L. And then as well, though, I did listen to a lot of other music as well. Like, obviously Big L was someone who I think stood out to me, but... Who else do you reckon? Yeah, like, from, from the Australians, they'd probably be the same as what Wombat was saying. And then a little bit as well, fucking Cassidy. Yeah, you know who Cassidy yeah he's a battle yeah, rapper. Like, like, yeah, he, he, he was just too. a real punchline dude. Yeah. And I remember looking up the coldest winter ever freestyles and just all these like dudes doing one takes in the street mm. and I just kind of from a young age I listened to like YouTube freestyles a lot of the time like a lot <laughs> it was sick uh, and he also said if you could give any advice to upcoming artists what would you say? just be yourself man and fucking just let the music talk be yourself fucking do it for the love of it provide for your fam and just fucking yeah music ain't easy make sure you want to do it for life what do you got for the upcoming artists? Yeah, just do whatever the fuck you want, man. Don't give a <laughs> fuck what anyone thinks and shit. Just go hard, yeah, bro. Right, dude, like, just have fun with life, man. You only live yeah. once, so fuck it, bro. Yeah. And believe in yourself and fuck what anyone says. That's yeah, it, that's right. Billy Knight said, how long did it take Wombat to do his first video clip? Um, like two days. Like, that's an old one. It's not even on YouTube anymore because fucking my old producer ended up deleting all my fucking videos off YouTube and he skipped the state and shit, so... Yeah. yeah no. <laughs> so all my old shit. I've still got all that old shit though. I'll upload some of them tracks like eventually and shit. But like, yeah, some old Wombat music videos are only like a fucking select few cunts who even remember. When did they drop? When was your first film clip? 
um, early 2016. Right, like yeah. I, did, I did this thing called Warm Back Wednesdays and fucking just went bang, 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 yeah. dropped like three tracks in a row like yeah. that. But yeah. Fuck, I, remember, I Did you support us in, oh, support, in Tasmania a few yeah, years ago? Yeah, I supported ago? you twice in Tasmania, yeah. 2016, then 2017. Bro, yeah. I remember I was upstairs and like, most of the time support acts are shit. You know what I mean? Like, to be honest, that's why they just fucking support. But I was upstairs and I could hear you rap. And I, who's this cunt? And they go, Wombat. And I was like, fuck, he's yeah, good. Like, I really caught my ear, bro. I was like, fuck. No, I appreciate so, it, man. That's sick, bro. Nah, like, I remember that, man. Fucking mad cunt. Um, and uh, Dallin, Daniel Sp Taylor Spawn wants to know, hey, chill, whatever happened to you and Senno's Sugar Sugar? That was some day one shit, I can't find it. Okay. I don't know, Senno's Sugar Sugar. Wrong, wrong person? <laughs> what? <laughs> Jackson Jordan said, what's some of the difficulties you face as an Australian artist, like making money off music, finding a reliable music studio, people who knew you got jealous? Do you find any of those things have happened to you? A hundred percent. hundred fucking percent. Does it, does it feed your music? Does it inspire you or does it hold yeah, you? Yeah, no, it's a, it's a part of the business. Like, there's a lot of, you, you make a lot of money, you lose a lot of money. There's a lot of risk, there's a lot of reward. There's, it's like fucking, it's a business at the end of the day. It, it's, obviously you've got to do it from your heart and it's got to stem from wanting to do it. But at the end of the day, once you get into a certain point of it, it becomes a business. And unless you can accept that and be prepared to work with that, it will be pretty hard for you. And like you can't be successful without haters as well. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, it's a business, and like with business, there's clients and there's people that are happy and unhappy. It's a part of the business. You got to learn to just do you and provide the best you you can. Jordan Puncher wants to know what was the best get body show they did and why. Brisbane. Just yeah, it Brisbane is crazy. Fucking. This tour is so gonna be crazy school, as yeah. well, man. These shows we've got, they're all the same size venues, bro. And they're all oh, yeah. sold out. Fucking, it's gonna be loose. Definitely expect some high energy fucking performances of this tour. Oh, fucking 100% bro, it's gonna, we're gonna put it in bro, it's gonna Fuck be good. Yeah, bro. We're gonna work on these sets, that's why we're, that's what we're down here doing, so it's good. Cameron Garner wants to know, what do you think that your main break through track was? When you really thought you were getting noticed? Oh, one breath, one tank, I feel like is when it just took a level of jump. But I feel like Tribal Shiz, fucking Back with Hustle Hard TV was probably, First, that was like the first thing I did that put me into the scene and how as like a figure. That? Does that make sense? Like you know what I mean? You know when yeah, you're, that's you're a figure in the scene? Yeah. yeah. Mm. That's that name. So like even later on when I did do like one breath, one take and then that name reappears, yeah. there's that instant mm. um like name like I think remember. I just go, yeah. oh, I remember these songs back in the day. Yeah. So yeah. And sometimes having a break's well. the best because you come back and go, like, oh, what's he's yeah. been up yeah, to right. You grow, everyone grows. Like you said, you grow as an artist and then you change and you do you know, you, your music changes but it starts at a certain point. Definitely. What was your breakthrough track? Uh oh uh, first when I was coming up probably watch out. Yeah, I was about to Filmed by Greeley that's on his channel and shit, like it's fucking yeah, that popped hard back in the day for yeah. like a Tasmanian artist especially, man, it was fucking hectic but Nowadays, probably fucking underrated, bro, man. That just yeah. went through the roof. That's nearly on fucking 2 million views, which yeah. is fucking just spins me the fuck out, man. Yeah, shout out to everyone, man. That's just yeah. fucked up, bro. So shout out to everyone, man. Smoke way, good vibes, fuck bitches, and fuck every cunt. 420 fam. Fucking, fucking nice, bro. Just, yeah, be yourself and fucking get yours, man. Trust. Billy Knight said, would one bat slap chilling it as hard as he can for 50 bucks and a pack of ciggies? I'll do you a deal. You should slap me in the face right now and fucking just buy me a pack of ciggies. Do you want to do that? I don't really want to buy any pack of bars. Yeah, I know. Like, <laughs> just slap him. I got no cash. Nah, hold on a minute, bro. I'll, I'll, I'll I couldn't even do it to him, bro. I'll, I'll buy I'll slap buy my G. G. I slap yeah, pants for this one. Yeah, that's it. Hey, bro, we won't even say about that night. Fuck yeah, it. Yeah, straight fuck it. Yeah. Shout out to me boy T-Bag. Yeah, shout out to fucking... I live for this shit. Fucking Rick Rogan. Don't even say that, bro. That's red hot. Oh, fuck it, dude. Uh, Anthony Sheedy wants to know when he's coming to Newcastle. What date's the Newcastle show? I'm not too sure of dates, but I know it's it, it, March there was 19 it. tickets left today. And uh, I'm pretty by sure the time this, this, out, this interview drops, it's probably going to be sold out. Anthony, hopefully you got it. Nathan uh, Secafine said, why is chill so chill? I don't know, man. That's probably a lot of marijuana, I would say. That Helps. Would be. Yeah, because if I haven't had marijuana, I tend to not be too chill. So. <laughs> De Dion Mc McLaren Fells said, Wombat, what's your writing process? Um, you pick the beat first, around. do you write to Yeah, something? kinda, unless it's grime, like sometimes, if it's got the same kind of fuel, they're all the same BPM and shit, so you can switch between beats and shit and kind of fucking feel, get your feel for it and shit like that. Yeah. But yeah, I don't know, like, my writing process, fuck, man, I don't know, probably just like, I usually write my best shit at like 3 in the morning, man, like, usually my sleeping pattern's fucking backwards and I wake up at like 7 o'clock at night and shit. 
Mm. Just fucking start writing at like 12 o'clock and just stay up all fucking night writing and shit, man. Just when your mind's clicking over. Yeah, for sure, man. Mm. I, I usually always write my best shit fucking like 3 in the morning and that. Anthony, uh, Arthur Jenkins wants to know how many backy cones does Wombat smoke a day? Probably, well at the moment, probably, oh, I don't know, while I've been up here I've been smoking not that much, but usually when I'm at home probably like fucking 10 a day. I don't know, man. It's pretty bad. But they're like dumb ones too though, like, you know what I mean? So it's mm. even worse. Yeah. So it's that fucked. And that's on top of all the cones I'm smoking and shit. So my lung and I've been doing that for years, so my lungs are fucked. Reese Maunder wants to know, ever done one eighty fish towels in oncoming traffic? No. <laughs> <laughs> no fucking way. No comment. <laughs> no comment. I, I punched a cone in oncoming traffic. But yeah. A- Aiden Powell wants to know when will Wombat drop an album? Hopefully this year, man. Yeah. 29. Colin Ball wants to know how many cones is a standard brekkie search? At least four. Jack David said chilling it, please remaster old school tribal shit. There we go, see there's the reference to it. Yeah, I should, that's, that's a good idea. Jake Cape, well, Big Eel Tupac. Tupac. Big Straight the fuck out. It's a hard pick. I'm, no, I'm a massive fan of Biggie too, though, but yeah. no, fuck a Tupac though. I'm a massive fan of Tupac like, too. I always got Tupac, I'm like, Tupac yeah. for sure. One of those questions. Yeah. Sam Bassett said, hey Chill, where's the lighter? Shh. Sam Mill said, where are you all from? Australia. I'm from fucking Glenorchy, Tasmania, bruh. 7010, shout out to area. Hazard, Hazard as PCP. Shout out Haz. Um, he said, fuck yeah, fellas. <laughs> <laughs> so you can't shout out to Hazard as PCP. He said, firstly, thought you're straight up one of the Aussie's best artists. I've said it all before, bros. Is there any new music you can announce? I've got a couple of clips coming on the way. Is, is I don't know about it, bro. This can't just, does he, get, is he allowed to do this, bro? He's got he's, an essay. Oh, no, he's cool, alright. Cool. Oh, he's it. got a forte tat. He's all <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, let's go hard. Chill said, just want to say congrats. He said, to chill. Just want to say congrats on the album. No, I finished reading all of your ones. Oh, Start this question again. Alright. He said, <laughs> He said, for, first of all, any new music? Yeah. He said, is there still a copy of Living Proof with my name written on it? Since then, I've sent him a copy of Living Proof, which is like a rare CD. Okay. Uh, don't want to ask for too much, but you already hooked me up, Killer Ways, but willing to pay for already sent it. Lastly, do you think you... What what do, do you think of Perth and keep up the sick work, bros? I like Perth a lot. I've only been there three times. I'd like to go there more and explore the area and see what's around, but yeah, I like it. Um, so, has, a, has one to ask, chill. He wants to say congrats on the album or your success this year. It's inspirational and your humbleness is rare, bro. He's got a lot of respect for you and that includes you all. When he when I brought he brought his brother to meet you guys at the pop up show in Perth, you guys took the time for him and made his year without a doubt. I appreciate the fuck out of that and you are the realest cunts in the scene without a doubt. Thank you very much, bro. I'm very humbled by that. I don't think he asked me a question. He just it's just a statement. Just spoke to me. Thank but, you, bro. I appreciate that. But that shows that these guys they do take time out for their fans. And oh, I really do. I swear to God, on that note, I really do love this shit. I really do. All the fans make this shit what it is. Without them, I am not sitting here right now. So fuck. Yeah, it's true. Big love to the 420 fam and everyone who supports it. And then he says to Bombwat, "When do you oh. when are you dropping your album, lad?" So, yeah, hopefully this year, bro. I'm gonna definitely drop an EP this year, the Bombwat EP. Produced by Oaks OTB, my bra, lift us up the road for me and shit, so fucking nice. He said he already knows it's gonna be crazy and he's hyped as fuck. He goes, Perth was crazy for you, bro, and having you on his shoulders for that song was funny as fuck, bro. I went off, so it was so much fun. Was that underrated? Would have been, yeah. Plus, yeah. Mm. That was fucking mad, bro. Nah, shout out, bro. Sick cunt. And he said, release drug psychosis, bro. That shit's fire. Yeah, I'll release that one day. That's an old track. That's a wrap up of the first episode of the new season of the Fortnite Report. I like you. Thank you for coming on it, Chill. Thanks, Ivan. Thanks for coming on back. <laughs> this guy's off his head. But um, uh, there's going to be new episodes coming through of all, a lot of new artists, a lot of people who haven't been on the show before. I appreciate you guys coming through. I hope your fans got some of the questions answered that you wanted to know. Is there anything you'd like to say before you get out of here? No. No comment? There's probably heaps of stuff you've seen before this. So. Yeah, no. Nah. Yeah, <laughs> fucking shout out to Forte, man. So you can't yeah, see, nah. I should have said something then. See, no, nah, but leave this. No more takes. It ends. Now. I decide. I decide where shit ends. It ends. Now.